Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And this one is all about producing jet fuel in nuclear tech mode using either the vacuum refinery or desulfurizing of the crude oil. Now, jet fuel is an amazing power source when compared to kerosene, and I'm going to attach one of these refineries to the oil rig video that I made. So, I want you guys to vote which one of these two refineries would you like to see in that build, and we will make an oil rig with a refinery attached to it. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into this video, my dudes. Alright, so let's start with the vacuum refinery first cause it won't give you jet fuel directly but it will give you more of it. So I'm starting with 64,000 millibuckets of crude oil and to control the rate I'm using a flow pump and this flow control pump is set to 5 millibuckets per tick which is 100 millibuckets per second which is the rate of production of crude oil in a fracking tub. So once we start pumping this into the compressors, this crude oil can then be compressed to one pressure units and then from one pressure unit we can go to two pressure units as two pressure units is what is needed in a vacuum refinery. So there's the first compressor and the second one and both of these will work one after the other which is pretty satisfying to watch and two pressure units of crude oil then goes in the vacuum refinery where it gives us the vacuum heavy oil along with the reformate and vacuum light oil and sargas. So the vacuum heavy oil is then stored here we can process it further of course and same goes for the sargas which can be made into fracking solution. So yeah that's that. Now for reformate this is directly stored as it is one of the things needed to basically make jet fuel and the vacuum light oil goes in a fraction tower where it's converted to kerosene and reformate gas. So both of these are stored here, kerosene down here and there goes the reformate gas. And then we can combine the reformate along with kerosene in an industrial mixer and that will give us the jet fuel. So yeah, that is the method that we use with the vacuum refinery and this is a very slow process. So while that's happening, I'm going to show you the desulfurized version of this entire process. So once again we start with crude oil 64,000 millibuckets of it and the flow control pump is once again set to 5 millibuckets per tick. This then goes in a catalytic cracking tower where the crude oil combined with steam gives us cracked oil and this process also gives us petroleum gas. This cracked oil can then be pumped into a hydro treater which will take liquid hydrogen at one pressure unit, combine it with the cracked oil and give us the desulfurized cracked oil. So this one is pretty easy and this process also gives us sour gas which once again can be used to make the fracking solution. So yeah that's that. And from there the desulfurized cracked oil then goes in a boiler where it's converted to the heated variant and the hot crude oil, the hot desulfurized crude oil then goes in the refinery where it is converted to four products. These are desulfurized naphtha along with desulfurized light oil, aromatic hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Now some of these products are stored directly like for example the unsaturated and the aromatic hydrocarbons I'm just storing them right now and uh, for the what do you call it the desulfurized light oil it is converted directly into jet fuel and the high octane diesel. So this process kind of gives you jet fuel directly, you don't need an industrial mixer for this process, however the amount you obtain is less. Naphtha goes in a fractioning tower where it's converted to BTX and high octane diesel, so that's more high octane diesel for you, it can once again be combined in this tank here. And with BTX you can either solidify it to get rid of it or you can use it as a fuel or what you can do is uh, take BTX in another catalytic cracking tower. This one will then convert it to a more aromatic hydrocarbons along with more petroleum gas. Both of the products which we are already producing so you can have more of them. And uh, yeah for the ratios I once again started with the same amount of crude oil. However we got 7680 millibuckets of sour gas. And uh, the main thing here the jet fuel we got 6440 millibuckets of it. Along with uh, over 16,000 millibuckets of high octane diesel and 6,900 millibuckets of both unsaturated and aromatic hydrocarbons. Also, solidifying the BTX also gave me what 16 pieces of solid fuel. Now, as this process in the vacuum refinery is going slowly, I'm going to up the rate a little bit. So, uh, 2,000 millibuckets per second that is the max rate at which the vacuum refinery, a single one, can operate. So I'm going to speed this process up and so we can see the ratios of the things we obtain all of the byproducts using this method. You already saw them for the desulfurized version and that's the entire process done right here. 
and once vacuum refiner does its thing we can see the final result so there goes we obtained 2000 or 25600 millibuckets of uh, vacuum heavy oil along with 9600 millibuckets of sour gas so definitely more than what we obtained previously in the desulfurized version however we got 16000 millibuckets of reformat along with uh, 8900 so roughly 9000 millibuckets of kerosene and 3840 reformat gas if we then combine these in an industrial mixer here so that should give us a decent amount of jet fuel so i'm going to combine it all and we should end up with uh, what 9000 millibuckets of jet fuel so yeah definitely more than what we got from the this version the desulfurized version however that process did give us some useful byproducts so do let me know which one of these processes do you like more and which one of these would you like to see in the oil rig build and for the power comparison 616,000 on the kerosene when with uh, the afterburner 3 level 3 and if we use jet fuel this should uh, give us 2.5 times more power so that's 1.54 million hg per second so yeah exactly 2.5 times more and that is why jet fuel is much much superior when it is compared to kerosene in terms of fuel so yeah that was it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it you learned something from it and make sure to vote in the poll that i'm going to make uh, just after this video is posted so yeah that's that i'm going to see you guys in the next one till then peace out and stay safe my dudes